So hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. So, yeah I'm wearing the same outfit because I just recorded a video. It was a 21 Pilots reaction video. Never thought I'd see the day where I'd be doing a 21 Pilots reaction video. It's been so long since they released new music. Anyway, I, I kind of touched on my 21 Pilot tattoos and then I realised I haven't actually done an updated tattoo video in like two years now and I get like a lot of tattoos per year. So I thought I would do a tattoo video because I've had a few people asking me like, is that a insert thing here tattoo or is that a whatever tattoo so I'm just gonna do an updated tattoo video we're gonna power through them I'm gonna do them based on like bands or what they're for right off the bat I just want to say the tattoos are a very personal thing they're a personal experience you either love them or you hate them maybe you love them but you don't have any yourself but you like admiring them on other people that's fine but if you don't like tattoos please don't be one of those people that leaves comments like you're gonna have them forever because I paid enough money to have them forever so I should goddamn hope I'm gonna have them forever, you know? Anyway, so I'll start with my 30 Seconds to Mars tattoos because I have four. I have three. Four? Three. Four. People ask me how many tattoos I have and I'm like, bitch, I don't know. I stopped counting like two years ago, so I don't know. So I just awkwardly tried to show my ankle to the camera. That's not gonna work. I'll insert a picture. My first tattoo ever was 30 Seconds to Mars symbol on my ankle. It is called the triad. That is the tattoo that started it all. That's crazy, isn't it? Then I got, I'm not going to try and do them in order. I have two 30 Seconds to Mars tattoos on this arm. One right there in Jared's handwriting that says live your dreams. Because that was like a catchphrase of Mars and I liked it. And that one there that says jump and touch the sky. Again, one of their catchphrases that I really liked. That's also in um, Closer to the Edge, the music video. And at every show, Jared also says jump and touch the fucking sky. And I'm like, I will try Leto. And then this little fella is my newest tattoo. That is the symbol from their newest album. They updated the triad and like, this is the new one. This camera is all off, excuse me. So that's the newest symbol. I decided to get it because I went to a Mario show and I was like, ah, I missed them. So I got their newest symbol tattooed because I love them. My God, my hair looks like Edward Scissorhands or some shit right now. The humidity drives my hair mad and then it goes curly. And then because it's so short when it goes curly, it just does this. And I'm like, can you not look like a bird is nesting in here? Anyway, so those are my 30 seconds tomorrow's tattoos. Then I have four 21 Pilot tattoos, which I kind of touched on in my last video, but I will retouch on again. <laughs> wow, I come up with some great phrases. We have this one. This is a little message in a bottle. Fun fact, I sketched up this and came up with the concept behind this because it, it was a long process, basically. But the outside of the frame, I drew freehand because I love that kind of, I don't know how to put it into words, but I love that kind of swirliness. And then as you guys can probably tell, the background there is based on Starry Night because Starry Night is my favourite piece of art ever. I think it's it's stunning. I was lucky enough to get to see it in real life. But yeah, so the background is Starry Night and then the little bottle is... I drew inspiration from the song Holding On To You because it's one of my favourite songs ever. And there's a line in the song that goes, I'm open a moment but close when you show it and before you know it, I'm lost at sea. And I just think, you know, the idea of throwing a message in a bottle out to sea it, my kind of reasoning is being lost isn't always a bad thing. Sometimes you can find beauty in the chaos of life. And you throw a message in a bottle out to the sea, hoping that somebody will find it someday. So that was kind of my idea with this, this little one. Then I have Polaroids, which is from the song Polaroids. And I got the blue and the red because they were kind of the two main colours of the Blurry Face era. And I just think they're really cool contrasting colours. Polaroids means to separate or to split something. And that has a whole different meaning to me. The song is very, very personal meaning to me so I'm not going into it but that's based on the song Polaroids then I have this fun little guy that is actually really hard to show on camera this is from the song Kitchen Sink if I stand up will I be able to oh so now you guys can see it this one is from the song Kitchen Sink it's a little plug from the Kitchen Sink a little cartoony plug my dog so Kitchen Sink, again, is a very special song to me, but the meaning that I took from that is Tyler says, a kitchen sink to you is not a kitchen sink to me, okay, friend? And what I take from that is, Tyler always says, you know, maybe something good happened to him at a kitchen sink or whatever, but what I take from that song is that something that's important to you might be important to everyone, or you're going to have different interests, and stuff is going to mean something to you, basically. And to celebrate differences, and to be okay with yourself. And that's why I got the words, okay, friend, with a question mark. And then my last 21 Pilots tattoo is... Is it focusing? I can't really tell. It says life has a hopeful undertone and the 21 Pilots symbol. And I know I'm showing it to you kind of upside down, but if I can... <laughs> 
if I can stand kind of this way, does that does that make it look any bit better? No. Okay. Migraine is one of my favorite songs of all time, not just by them, just in general. Um, so yeah, that's from the line, we should take a moment and hold it and keep it frozen and know that life has a hopeful undertone. So I don't know, to me that's just a reminder that even though things might be shitty, they won't always be. So those are my 21 Pilot tattoos. Then I have two Linkin Park tattoos. That is Linkin Park's old school symbol. That's the symbol that I remember growing up with. That I grew up and this was their symbol. It wasn't like the circular one, you know, with the L and the P and the kind of circle. So that's why I got the old school one, because I grew up on them. And I got this little guy. This guy is a very funny story. My mom has met Linkin Park like eight or nine times. She is like, they're her favorite band. And my mother brought me to meet Linkin Park when I was 12 or 13, I want to say. I was young. But like I've said before, I grew up with them, whatever. But she went to a meet and greet and Chester was just in a really giddy mood that day. And he drew this as a joke. So basically, Mike Schnoda is an artist and he used to draw all these other quirky little faces and stuff as art. So Chester took the piss out of Mike and drew this as like a parody. And then Mike drew an actual proper one. And this all happened on my mother's little pit poster that she was getting signed. So I got it lifted from her poster and I got that little face tattooed because it makes me laugh. It makes me smile. It makes me think of giddy Chester and happy Chester. And yeah, it's like a piece of them now will always be with me. And Lincoln Park is something that my mum was gracious enough to share with me. She brought me to two of their shows and she got me to meet them. And I'm so happy that she did because I'll never get that chance now. So those are my two Lincoln Park ones. I have one Michael Jackson tattoo as of now. I hope to get more. It is this little spaceship. It's the spaceship from the music video, Leave Me Alone. And whatever happens. So the story behind that's funny. Because <laughs> my dad took me to a Michael Jackson exhibition back in like 2009 or 2010 or something. It was on in London. And they had a load of like his cars, they had his outfits, they had so much of his stuff. But everything was behind glass and like protected. One of the few things that wasn't was the spaceship from Leave Me Alone. They had it like up on a little stand or whatever. So I went through the exhibition, saw everything, and was ready to leave. And decided I, I need to touch something that he touched. So I slipped in underneath the velvet barriers. My dad was watching out for guards and security to make sure, you know, they didn't tackle me to the ground. And I touched the steering wheel of the ship and the kind of visor at the front of the ship. And then spent most of that day crying because I got to touch something that Michael Jackson touched. And I got Whatever Happens around it because I love the song Whatever Happens. It's my favourite Michael Jackson song ever. It's from an album called Invincible. Very overlooked, underrated album, can I just say. But it's my favourite Michael Jackson song and it has a lot of meaning and a lot of weight for me. So I got it with the little spaceship. God, I'm getting all the angles wrong. Then on, I guess, what what would you call that? The back of your wrist? Just underneath the spaceship, I have Harry Potter's glasses. And I am aware that's upside down, but it's just the way I'm holding my arm. Because if I hold my arm up, it twists it and Harry looks all deformed. Simple story behind that. I love Harry Potter. Grew up on the books. <sighs> Was the biggest Potterhead you could think of. No, not Pothead. Potterhead. I was obsessed with the books, obsessed with the movies, I had the fucking cloaks, I had the wands, I had all the figures. Harry Potter, as a child, for me, was an unknown kind of escapism fantasy land for me. And even though I didn't know it at the time, it did a lot more for me than I'll probably ever know. To this day, I will still argue that it is probably one of the best books ever written. The movies? Debatable. But the books. And then on my wrist? Why can I not show any of these tattoos without having to stand up? On my wrist then I have the ruins from Keeley's stone from The Hobbit. Now I'm talking about the movie The Hobbit, not the book The Hobbit, because let's face it, Keeley has a very small part to play in the book. But in the movie he has a little stone, it's called Ruin Stone, and he said it was a promise to return home to his mother, to his family and stuff. So I got that tattooed on my wrist to always remind me to, to not forget where I come from and to always come home at the end of the day. I think that's this arm pretty much done. Ugh, all of that was one arm. I talked for 15 minutes about one arm. So then, I think those are all walking dead, so I'll do them in a second. You guys are gonna see some outrageous tan lines right about now. On my back then here, I have the word unconditionally. That is a matching tattoo that I got with my mum for my birthday. There's quite a funny story behind that because my mum isn't as into tattoos as I am, but on my birthday we got up and she decided let's get a tattoo. And our song is a song called Unconditionally by Katy Perry. Again, another funny story, neither of us like Katy Perry. Not a big fan at all. But that song is special, so we both got the word unconditionally in the exact same place. So she's the only person that I have matching tattoos with, and the only one that I probably ever would get a matching tattoo with. 
no matter what I do to my hair, it is just not looking half decent today. Nope. Then on my leg, am I going to have to insert a picture of this? Probably. On my leg, then my lower leg, I have a tattoo for my brother. It's just going to be easier than standing up. So I'm just going to show you a picture. It is the time that my brother was born in his name because that is the exact moment I became a big sister. And my brother is just, he's the fucking world to me. He gets on my nerves sometimes, but I think all siblings do. But he knows that I love him and I can't imagine the world in general or life without him. On the flip side to that then, on the other side of my leg, I have the little man from the cover of Welcome to the Black Parade by My Chemical Romance. Because, hello, My Chemical Romance. I have two My Chemical Romance tattoos. That is the first one. I woke up one morning and decided to get that, so I did it. Then on my ribs, on my side, I have the words I'm not afraid to keep on living. Which is kind of funny because when I move, the tattoo moves and it's like, woo. That is from a song called Famous Last Words. Very important song to me. Very important band to me. So I got it tattooed. Then I have my little mam tattoo on my belly. Well, it's, it's actually on my hip. Like, that's my hip bone. So that's on my hip. That is my mother's handwriting. I got her to write her. I got her to write the word mom. Mam. Because that's what I call her. And I got it tattooed. So I have a piece of her with me all the time. And the reason I got the broken love heart with it is because it's like when my heart is broken or when I'm upset, she's the one there to pick up the pieces. So that's why I went for a broken love heart instead of a full one. What am I forgetting? I'm forgetting something. Oh yeah. You, oh, you can see how burnt I am in this light. Look how red my shoulder is. But I got the words stay made of lightning because I love One Direction and that is from a One Direction song called Girl Almighty. I forgot about my other One Direction tattoo. I have Strong tattooed on the side of my arm because it's one of my favourite One Direction songs and I love them and they were just, they were a happy moment at a time in my life when I needed them. That's what I do. Something makes me happy. I like something so I get it tattooed. Whether it's a band or, or something like that, I will get a tattoo just to have it on me forever. So every time I look at it, I'm like, oh, remember when I went to that show or remember when I met that person and it just, it's, it's like a scrapbook. But I have it with me all the time. So I don't need to flip two pages to look at stuff. Then we're moving on to my Walking Dead tattoos. There's a lot. Literally looks like a bird is nesting. It's because my hair is getting like longer. I'm letting the top grow and stuff. And it's getting so long now that it's unmanageable. Anyway. So first of all, I will start on this arm. Because I have one Walking Dead tattoo on this arm. And I regret getting it on this arm. Because this is my Walking Dead arm. But I have a Walking Dead tattoo on my other arm. And it just irritates me. So on this arm right there, I have Norman Reedus's signature. I got that tattooed the very first year that I went to Walker Stalker. There's a little love heart above it as well that he drew. He drew obviously his signature and the love heart. So, because Norman, Norman's quite important to me. There's a few people in my life that I've encountered that I would say had an impact on me as a human. He's one of them. Jared Leto is one of them, which is why I have his handwriting on me. My mother is one of them, which is why I have her handwriting on me. Jeffrey Dean Morgan is another, which is why I have his handwriting on me. This, this tattoo here is um, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. I met him, basically, and he signed my little picture thing. And we had a big conversation that meant a lot to me and that I will have in my memories forever. But I decided to get the love heart and the love yet that he did on my picture tattooed. Again, so I have it forever. If I'm sad, I look down on my arm. I think of that moment and that conversation I had with him. And I'm just, I'm okay again. I'm not okay right now, though, because I'm really warm. So that was why I got that one. Jeffrey is, is just a really fucking... He really knows how to talk to people and how to make people feel something. He, like, he knows how to connect with people. Above that, then, I have my walker head. Charlie Adler drew this for me two years ago, I think. Um, maybe it was the first year I went, I can't remember. But that is drawn by Charlie Adler, and I got, like, red across it to look like a scratch. Above that, I have Don't Open Dead Inside, because hello, walking dead. The back of my arm, then, which not a lot of people get to see, is Lil Ass Kicker from Judith's Crib, Abraham. Everyone always asks me, is this my dad? And I'm like, sure. Eugene, this little hand up here, until one is, is inspired by what Herschel says to Glenn, no man is good enough for your little girl, until one is. And it's the walker hand that Glenn had to chop off to get the little, where is it, the engagement ring for Maggie. So that kind of tattoo is all for Glenn and Maggie. Then I have, I think this was the first Walking Dead tattoo I got. It's a little Cherokee rose with watercolor. It's one of my favorite storylines, him and Cara, sorry, Daryl and Carol. I love the story and the reasoning behind why he gave her the flowers. So I was like, oh, I'll get that tattooed. JSS for Just Survive Somehow. So I don't know if that's focused or not. Is that focused? I have my King County Sheriff badge. And then up on top, I have the green balloons that were let off. So that's kind of for Glenn too. So I have two tattoos for Glenn and Maggie. And I didn't know about it. Ah, oh, okay. 
So, so far, those are all the Walking Dead ones I have. It's not done. It's still like a work in progress. I still have a lot that I want to get regarding the Walking Dead specifically. But, you know, funds. <laughs> Tattoos cost a lot of money. But just you guys wait. Someday I'm going to come on camera and I'm just going to, boom, have a whole Walking Dead sleeve. And I'm going to be like, what's up? Guess what I've been up to? I hope I'm not forgetting any because, it, to be fair, it would be fucking easy to forget some. But I'm pretty sure that is all of my tattoos as of now. So that is it for now, you guys. I hope you enjoyed. And this was quite a personal video. <laughs> it wasn't like, you know, silly kind of talky video. Tattoos are very personal to me and I love them. And I do plan on getting more. And no, I don't plan on stopping because people keep asking that as if it's not offensive. You ever going to stop? Like, why does it matter to you? But no, like I said, it's like a scrapbook that I can bring with me everywhere. And it's a great conversation starter. Anyway, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll talk to you all soon.